John Brzezink versus Dennis Siplenkov. As most of us already know that the John versus Dennis match has been officially announced for King of the Table 6. Both Dennis and John have signed the official contract and are already preparing for the match. It is one of the most talked about comeback historic matches. These two had a rivalry against each other from 2008 till about 2010 and John Brzezink had the upper hand if we talk about the number of matches and number of rounds won. Denis Siplenkov was only able to win one or two round but the last win was in Denis Siplenkov's favor so John Brzezink and Denis both would like to take their revenge. Dennis is someone who wants every piece of training leading up to the match to be perfect. John, on the other hand, is a little bit less dedicated to the craft of a perfect preparation cycle. Everyone was saying that John Brzezink was an underdog against guys like Corey West and Oleg Petrenko. But John proved everyone wrong. He showed that even at 57-58 years old, he is capable enough to beat 400 plus pound monsters and to beat 26-year-old young world champions. If you add the stem cell therapy on top of that, John could be a completely different animal if that stem cell therapy is actually successful. And then we have Denis Siplenkov. He was down and out. Everyone, almost everyone said that Denis is done now. He can never make a comeback in arm wrestling and he needs to focus on living just a healthy lifestyle. That should be more than enough for him. Dennis is looking healthy, but on the table, he has not proven anyone wrong yet. He has not competed in a single match since his 2019 surgery. Last match was against Devon Lett in 2018. Since then, in last 4-5 years, Dennis has not competed. But for Dennis, everything is calculated now. Everything is according to the doctor's advice. If the doctor says that Dennis, you need to wait before you start lifting heavy weights. You need to wait till the reports show up. Dennis listens to everything his doctor tells him. So he is careful which kind of directs to his lower body weight. He doesn't want to push it that much. He used to be above 140 kilos, but right now he's walking around 125 kilos, which is still massive, but not massive according to Dennis standards. He started slowly after his injury and now has regained a ton of strength and some muscle mass. As I already told you, he's only 125 kilos, almost, almost 45 pounds lighter than what he used to be. And still, he is already dominating everyone on the practice table. He doesn't even feel most of these arm wrestlers. He was looking confident against Alex Kurdecha, David Dadikyan. I heard some things about Artem Morozov as well. So he is already at the top. There are people who believe that Denis Sipenkov is top 5 in the world. There are also some people who believe that he can be number 2 in the world. But we do not know for sure until the time Denis competes in a ready-go match. John, on the other hand, is really confident going into this match against Dennis. More confident than I have ever seen him. The reason for that confidence is that Dennis is an arm wrestler against whom you get to apply 100% of your power. I have heard this statement countless times now. I have not seen any arm wrestler who walks away from a Dennis Plenkov match saying that I wish I could have done this different. It doesn't happen. You get to apply 100% of your power. That's the same reason why Dave Chafee nearly pinned Denis Siplenkov. That's the same reason Devon said that he doesn't even want to try anything ever against Denis Siplenkov, at least on the left arm. For this reason, John believes that he can win, but I think the king's move is going to be John's weakness. If Denis Siplenkov tries to hook John Brzezink in round one, it can end bad for him. But Denis has given up any attempt to hook now. He goes all outside, almost into a king's move which can be fatal for John in this match. I think that John will take Dennis near to the pad in round one, but he will not be able to finish the King's move and Dennis will take this match 6-0 with the first couple of rounds being close. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe to the channel.